What's up guys, it's Tenfold Killer here, and in this uh, video I'm going to be doing my first tutorial, and I'm going to show how to do a slow motion effect in Adobe After Effects CS4. It also works in CS5, the only thing you need is the plug-in uh, Twixter. I have Twixter 4.5 Pro. There are plenty of ways to find out how to get this plugin for free. Whatever you need to do to get the effect, go ahead and do it, then come to the tutorial and learn how to use it. So, let's get started. First we're going to go ahead and import our clip and bring it onto the timeline. Now we're going to go ahead and go composition, composition settings, and we're going to set this to about 15 seconds. Alright, now we're going to extend our timeline to give us some more room to work with. Now click this, and then click your uh, clip and hit Control alt t Now what this is going to do is going to allow us to ramp the time, or er, remap the time. That way we can actually do the full clip with our slow motion effect. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and come to the part where we want to apply it. So right here for me. Now we're going to go ahead and hit Effect, Revisions, Plugins, Twix for 4.5. And come to the speed and add a keyframe. Now that we've added a keyframe for the speed at 100%, we're going to come forward just a little bit and we're going to bring the speed down to whatever you want. I'm going to bring it down to 5% for a super slow motion effect. Now as you can see I'm not going to be able to get the entire effect in with just what we have which is why we did the remapping of time for the time so we can extend this out and get the actual full length of the clip. As you can see this is super slow motion, a lot slower than you could get within Sony Vegas. So we're just going to come through here to the point where we want to make it fast. Okay, so about here is where, a little farther than that. Good thing we did 15 seconds we run out of room. That's good right there. So now what I recommend doing is come to the effects Twixter 4.5 and look for the speed so output control speed okay now at the speed we're gonna add another keyframe here for a hundred percent or for five percent sorry go forward just a bit and then we're going to apply it to hundred percent so now it's gonna speed up and we're going to need to find the end of where our clip is by going frame by frame. So we can go ahead and collapse all this stuff down here now. So we're just going to keep going frame by frame here until we get to the exact end of our clip. A few more. I think this is it right about here. Alright, so that's good for right now. So now what you do is hit the end key and that will make it the end of your video and you go ahead and render it out. And then you'll have a super slow motion effect for our clip done in Adobe After Effects CS4 with Twixter. Thanks for watching this. Uh, I'll give you a preview right after this. I'll render it out and give you guys a preview. So thanks for watching. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe.